All right, so I got the boys over there practicing on the uh, sawmill, and I'm going to start uh, to destructing the trailer that the old mobile home was on. Uh, right now, we're literally just taking apart this really old uh, logging pile slash firewood pile. I don't know. It's been sitting there at least 10 years. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the wood is rotten all the way through. So um, whatever we get out of it is is already trash. We're literally just practicing right now. Two days later and I'm back. Yesterday kind of got rained out. Collected some more water in the uh, water bins, but I think one of my blue bins is uh, got a leak in it because there's less now than there was before. So keep an eye on that. Maybe I can actually plug it with something. But here we are at the, um, the trailer flatbed. Been uh, destructing that. Uh, gonna save these decks here because I might have I might have use for it and with the price of plywood um, well need I say more but uh, let's talk a little bit about what I've got planned in the near term you've already seen that I got a sawmill now this thing needs shelter both from the rain and snow but also from the Sun and it'll also be uh, necessary to uh, work in especially during the summer when uh, when it gets really hot so it'll be good to have shelter so let's walk over here to the storage container right right over there and here we are at the storage container it is uh, secure storage for now uh, so basically I'm keeping everything that I want to keep in here uh, safe and locked up and dry but uh, in the near future we're going to turn this into uh, lumber storage because I'll be making a lot of lumber here uh, in the near future. So Right here. We have a solid structure. So we're going to build an awning off of each side on, e on each side and over here on the right side We're going to have a spot for the sawmill and We're going to work on it right here under cover 
we're going to have a spot here cleared out for uh, timbers that are waiting to be sawed up. Remember that uh, that building is not going to be there. I'm going to take these two trees down. So I'm going to have all this space to work with the tractor moving moving logs around and we're going to have a little sawing station right here. And we can take the lumber straight out and into storage. On the other side, we're going to do basically the same thing with an awning, but we're going to have a spot to park the tractor and uh, basically keep everything out of out of the sun and the and the weather. You know, it's not going to be enclosed, but you know, this is all this is all a quick solution so I can get a, a viable operation going. And it's not necessarily going to be pretty because I will be using as much of the free stuff around here as I can, plus the the wood that we're going to be sawing up to actually build the thing. Um, first, that's uh, free. It's going to be efficient, and it's going to be good practice for uh, for using that sawmill, you know, and getting actual raw timbers into something that I can use. So we're going to have a sawmill in operation right here. First thing on the agenda for that though is that thing's on a slope so we're going to have to uh, lift up the back and pour some footers under it and uh, probably in the front too so we're going to get the whole thing level which will probably have the effect of raising the whole thing I don't know four or five six inches I don't know yet so that's going to raise everything and then we're going to um, build water collection off of the roof that we're going to create. With all that said, I am no longer in a hurry to take down this building right here because though not completely enclosed, it is dry storage. So I'm going to have more lumber brought in here and stacked. Here's some of the practice pieces that uh, might be usable. Uh, so we're going to fill this space up with uh, lumber, keeping that out of the weather. Look at these timbers right here. Look at these beams right here. Those are three inch, three inch uh, beams. I'm not sure what species of wood they are, but uh, they're about, I don't know, 20 feet long, maybe 18 feet. So I can use these. Here's the other room. I've collected some stuff that I plan on saving out of here. Got some doors, windows, carpet still in a rolled up in plastic, linoleum carpet uh, padding, insulation, paint, which may or may not be worth anything, um, the shelving, and this, um, some kind of countertop material. It's not granite, but it looks granite. It's definitely hard. That's gotta be worth something. And the other thing, besides it being an eyesore, I don't have a plan for this space right now. So I'm just gonna keep it up for now and uh, and use it for what it is. So for the rest of the day I'm going to go ahead and work on disassembly of this uh, trailer, get the deck boards off, get the ones that I can use. Uh, these two by sixes that are part of the um, the flooring, the floor joists, we're going to use those too because those can be roof rafters over there on the sawmill. And when I say sawmill I don't mean sawmill, I mean the place that is the sawmill. As for the starter on the JCB, still waiting on that. I called uh, the parts store uh, two days ago and, and yesterday and they said that the starter still hasn't shipped out from uh, JCB, even though they said they have 11 in stock. I'm just waiting on a tracking number for that. Okay, on to the trailer. I'm gonna be using the six pound sledgehammer that I found in the weeds right over there. Um, the handle was pretty rotten. I got about two dozen swings off the old handle, but uh, Eventually the other day it, it broke over here. So I got a new handle on here and uh, here we go.
So here is my temporary storage location. Uh, it's filled mostly with stuff that I found and stuff that with, uh, like tools and things that I've brought from home, like all the garden tools there. I found this ladder. Um, I found, this is actually a wardrobe, so it's supposed to be sitting on end, but we went ahead and we're gonna use that as a bench for now. Found this bench in the uh, mobile home we, we already destruct, destroyed. Um, fluids and stuff, gas cans. Um, yeah, got some spare band saw blades. Got a bunch of nails and screws and things that, uh, that we found in the property. Uh, that stuff is all useful. Got a big roll of plastic here. We'll use that for sure. And uh, lots of space to use. No holes in the roof. So I'm pretty, pretty pleased. Looks like we got a dent right there, which could be a hole one day. But we're gonna put a roof over the roof to preserve the, uh, um, the container too. Big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way. I was working on the ground, come a sun time. Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leave. Kissed me one time and you took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Well, work a three job, living out of the car I'm a little woman, like to get this car Running around the world, playing my guitar Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star So I've almost got the whole deck off this trailer. I went ahead and loaded the boards up that uh, that are in the way onto the truck because um, you see over here I've got the uh, uh, the trailer parked right up against the bushes and kind of under a log. I need to get that out of the way, so I'm gonna hook up to the uh, to the trailer and right to the frame and tug it out away from those uh, uh, away from that brush, and then we'll get the last row off. Jobs living out of the car. I'm a little told me like to get this car. Run around the world playing my guitar. You see here, we got a lot of boards that we were able to salvage. We're going to use these for the roof of our awnings for the uh, the sawmill area. Uh, it's not the it's not the best, prettiest wood. Uh, some of it's rotting, uh, but mostly it's it's uh, very sound. But it's full of the staples, hundreds, thousands of them. Uh, so we're going to address those when it's time to use the boards, but right now we're just going to leave them in place and we're going to take them over and we're going to stack them on these um, on these uh, planks that the boys practiced on the sawmill with. These planks aren't going to be any good because they're all dry and rotten, but, so we're just going to use this to uh, to keep the plywood up off the wet ground.
Alright, so I count 12 sheets and two half sheets of used plywood that I was able to salvage off the deck of that mobile home. Um, they're, like I said before, they're not the best pieces and they're full of staples, but we can, uh, we can uh, cut all those off with the grinder real fast. And uh, more than enough, I think, to put the roof on the, uh, the sawmill shelter and at about $40 per sheet of plywood, 12 times 40 is, bear with me, 12 times 40 is $520, $560 of uh, plywood that I don't have to buy for an exterior exter exterior shelter. That's uh, probably just going to rot in several years anyway. That's okay because, you know, this is just a temporary solution and I got a temporary solution here on the ground. So thanks for watching everybody and uh, tomorrow I'm going to come back and uh, start taking the 2x6's uh, off because we'll use those as, as rafters. That's some more savings at about 8 or $10 per board. And uh, there's another probably, I don't know, $300 or savings right there. So, um, so far very profitable. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, make sure you come back and watch for more. Bye.